July 23, 2022 is a Saturday. Welcome to your daily weather for the great city of Manhattan. Dress for heat. The temperature today should reach up to 97 degrees Fahrenheit and down to 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at 21%. You can expect no rain and no snow today. Some clouds. We've got moderate wind at about 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow is going to be hot with scattered clouds. Monday is going to be hot with moderate rain. Tuesday is going to be hot with light rain. Wednesday is going to be hot with light rain. Thursday is going to be hot with light rain. Friday is going to be hot with broken clouds. Heat advisory remains in effect until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time Sunday. What heat index in the upper 90s to lower 100s? Where, New York, Manhattan, Bronx, Southern Queens, Richmond, Staten Island, Kings, Brooklyn, and Northern Queens counties. When, until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time Sunday. Impacts, hot temperatures and high humidity may cause heat. Illnesses to occur. Additional details, there may be some isolated spots that reach. A heat index of around 105 on Sunday. Low temperatures on Saturday night and more so on Sunday night may not dip below 80. In some spots. Air quality alert in effect until 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time this evening. Air quality alert in effect from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time Saturday. Air quality alert in effect from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time Sunday. The New York State Department of Environmental Conservation has issued an air quality health advisory for the following counties. New York, Bronx, Kings, Queens, Richmond. Until 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time this evening. Air quality levels in outdoor air are predicted to be greater than An air quality index value of 100 for the pollutant of ground level. Ozone, the air quality index, or AQI, was created as an easy way to correlate levels of different pollutants to one scale. The higher the AQI value, the greater the health concern. When pollution levels are elevated, the New York State Department of Health recommends that individuals consider limiting strenuous Outdoor physical activity to reduce the risk of adverse health effects. People who may be especially sensitive to the effects of elevated levels of pollutants include the very young, and those with pre-existing respiratory problems such as asthma or heart disease. Those with symptoms should consider consulting their personal physician. A toll-free air quality hotline has been established in New York. Residents can stay informed on the air quality situation. The toll free number is 1 800 535 1345. And now for the news. Warning Some news stories can be disturbing or offensive. Stories are provided by various sources. Wow, I have no opinion at all, but rare case of polio prompts alarm and an urgent investigation in New York. County officials were alerted to the positive identification of polio by state officials and the Centers for Disease Con. Troll and Prevention on Monday night. For our next story, it's never too late to learn the tango and fall in love. What's the key to finding love? We were both in very good spots when we met each other. I always tell people I had never been happier than I was the day before I met him. Next up, so-called Wolf of Airbnb now has the FBI knocking at his door. One accused New York City grifter taking a page from the quality actors who came before he has officially hit the big time, uh. T. Least as far as federal police are concerned. In other New York news, Lee Zeldin, GOP nominee for NY governor, attacked at rally. A pair of naturalized U.S. In other New York news, the trust company an old tool for a new age Reuters. 
July 22, 2022 Trust companies in the United States trace their roots back nearly two centuries, to the formation of the United States Trust Company of New York in 1853. In other New York news, the first U.S. polio case was discovered in nearly a decade. Should you worry? A Centers for Disease Control and Prevention scientist works with polio virus material. The first case of polio in Neural Y decade was detected in a New York patient Thursday. In our next story, Park and Sky to open in former Great II listed Manchester Viaduct. A park in the sky at a former viaduct in Manchester is to open at the end of the month, the National Trust has announced. That's it New York. Have a good one. We're always working to improve our service, please subscribe to show support. See description for sources. This content contains information from OpenWeather, TM, API, which is made available here under the Open Database License, ODBL.